Hello, boys and girls. My name is Mike Kelly, Animators Forum and RealIllusionForum.com. So, so glad I can share this with you. First of all, let me get this out of the way so I can show you this. This is the uh, hair tool. This is absolutely, what I mean, 36 bucks. This thing, this thing would be great at three times this price. Uh, here's the, here's all you have to do to get the website to get to it. Gumroad.com slash I slash hair tool. Uh, this guy, I cannot recommend this highly enough. I bought this thing, I think, the, I think he first developed this three or four years ago. And he's kept refining it and improving it. And I think it's perfect now uh, in, in the new blender. I've tried it on and off over the years and just not been able to, to get stuff working. And then all of a sudden, it just works perfect in Blender 2.8. So here we are back in Blender 2.8. I want to show you, we're going to do a beard today. We're going to, I'm going to keep doing tutorials on how to use this. He has a lot of tutorials at his site, but his tutorials are not necessarily uh, aimed at, at you know, character creator or iClone. I mean, they're not at all. Uh, but uh, I'm going to show you some things specifically for doing it with our stuff. So I think we talked about this in the first tutorial I showed you. We, we have the head selected. This is the base body. All I did was I, I took the regular nude character from, um, from character creator 3, this guy, because I happen to like him, and I went up here and I did a file, and I did an export, and I did an OBJ, and I did the nude, char uh, the nude character in a T-pose. Okay? New character in T-pose. Okay, and then I just brought it in to Blender. Just go ahead and file, and then import it in as an OBJ, and uh, and then I had, I went ahead and selected all the the um, the, the vertices that were not uh, face vertices. And if you guys don't know how to do that, let me know, and I'll show you. But it's real simple. Uh, and then I just deleted everything, so I was left with just a head, a head, and uh, and then I deleted all the other crap, the teeth and the, you know the eyes and stuff. So I'm left with this. Well, it's still called base body, but all it has is the head. And the reason is that this is going to be our template for, for creating all of our hairs. And so in, in order to do that, what you go is you go down and you create these vertex groups. And I showed this in the last one. If you go to, to edit mode, this is how you create a vertex group. You select some vertices. So you would basically, first you create your group. You just add a new vertex group. And then you select some verts from it, like the nose verts here. And then you assign to that the new group that you did, you assign it to... Um, to that vertices so that's basically how you do it and um so that's that's how you do it so if for example uh, this mustache i showed this before if i show you that that's the mustache there if we deselect those and if you go to the goatee i selected uh, those that's there deselect uh the beard i did uh which just the side of this and then what I did for the beard complete is the beard complete. I went ahead and assigned the mustache and the goatee all together, and then I created a new one called beard complete, which is an entire beard. So the the nice thing about having these separate selections is that we can do some very sophisticated things, which we'll show as we go along. But right now, the only one thing I want to do today is do a beard, simple beard, just to show you how to actually make hair. That when we did the mustache, we did it as an accessory. So we do this as hair. So uh, we're going to go down, and just like we did before, we're going to go to the, um, first we go to, always go to object mode, so don't need that. Object mode, we created the verts already for this, and then we go to particles, create new particle system, we hit the plus sign, create new particles. You can name it if you want, I don't usually bother. We go to hair, and as usual, hair is everything in that object. So what we do is we go down here to the vertex groups, and for density, we just click in here and assign whatever one we want. So we're going to use beard complete. So that's in all that beard area there. See, see that? Now, one thing you could do, and I can show this too in later tutorials. We'll actually show it more when we get around to developing actual hair on the head, is that you can do this uh, in separate groups. So, for example, I could do it without the mustache, and I could come back and do the mustache. And sometimes it's easier to comb things that way and to adjust the hair lengths that way. Uh, but in this particular case, I'm just going to do the whole thing. So, And as we did before, we don't need a 1,000. We, we did it before with a 100 for just the mustache. I think I want to have a little more than that, though. I think I want to have maybe, I don't know, three or 400, some in that neighborhood. Uh, it really just depends on how dense you want your hair, and you're going to have to experiment with that to see what what uh, it works for you. And I can't really speak to that. We'll show you some different techniques and about how you can do different things, but in, uh, until the meantime, you just have to play around with that and figure out what you like. 
So when we're all done with that, then we bring out this hair rollout, the hair tool rollout, which it's installed normally. So normally you'd see this and then you bring out your hair tool rollout. And then in here, we go around not to draw hair, but we're gonna go to the, um, I'm sorry, to the uh, hair operators. No, I guess it is draw hair. I don't know where it is. Hair bake? No, where is it? I'm not seeing what I wanna do here. Uh, why am I not seeing this? Oh, 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 particle edit. That's why I go. Particle edit. Well, that's just good. You guys got to see it too. So you have to go to particle edit before you see interactive grooming. Okay, so particle edit. And so now we've actually got uh, the the particles here so that these are the edit stuff we're going to see. And you can actually turn on the interactive grooming now. What I like to do with particle edit first before I actually is comb it first. Uh, when it says interactive grooming, what that means is that you will actually see the hair while you're grooming it. So, for example, if I turn this on, you can actually see it will actually play the hair, and you can still groom it that way with the hair on, but it's not as responsive. So what I like to do first is just play with the particles and get it combed out kind of the way I want it before I actually turn on the interactive part of it. So that's just me. You guys can do whatever you want here. And you can see because we turned on that interactive, it's still kind of frozen in that position. So that's why I generally don't turn on interactive until I've got it combed out kind of the way I want it because it's a little hard to see otherwise and we'll turn it down here I'm just kind of combing combing the hair down as a beard would be beards normally I have a beard myself not this long a beard I that would be kind of cool but uh, <laughs> we'll just kind of comb it out any way you want it you kind of make it any way you want and I told you there's lots of tools. There's lots of things you can do. You can cut the beard. Matter of fact, we are going to cut this. We're going to go to the cutting tool, and I'm going to adjust this radius down pretty small because I want to have some precision, yeah, maybe down to 11. And we're going to zoom in here, and then I'm going to cut the, the mustache here to kind of get this kind of a little more precise here. There we go. A little bit like that. A little bit and uh, da, 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 da. I have to turn on the interactive mode again so I can see what I'm doing here so we'll turn on the interactive grooming here and then we'll also adjust Remember, we always want to adjust the strand width so bump it up here a little bit to see how it is and that's actually pretty cool looking for a very full beard uh, once again I can go ahead and groom some more I can do a lot of things and if you if you get if you do buy this like I say for 36 bucks it's a steal. I can't imagine anybody not paying 36 bucks for this. Uh, but if you, uh, you'll see a lot of different tutorials about doing a lot of different things here. I don't do, really recommend doing a whole bunch of things. You're going to embed the roots a little bit. Embedding the roots just means that the hair goes into the skin a little bit. You're going to want to do that. Uh, but in general, I, I just there's not really a whole lot you have to do. And I don't want to get too complicated in this right now. Uh, so I think this is okay for now. Uh, again, we can play as much with this as we want. Once we're done grooming, we go back to the actual object, and we want to select this object. This is this object itself here that we've created, and then we use a hot key to generate the curve ribbons to mesh ribbons. You can see there's all kinds of options and things you can do, and we will try to explore some of that as we go along, but right now I just want to do something real quick to show you. Uh, as you can see, I didn't probably push, should have pushed the hair down this way. And I'll show you that. Uh, you can actually go back the other direction. So I can go back and mesh ribbons to curve ribbons too. So now I've gone back to the other direction. And now if I go back to edit mode, then I can go back and, and curve ribbons to mesh ribbons or I can kind of groom it or I can do all kinds of things. So there's lots of other things you can do if you if you wanted to uh, to play with that. But I don't really want to do that right now. So do this, curve ribbons to mesh ribbons. And now we have mesh, and we're an object, and we're selected, and then we're just going to export that. Export that uh, OBJ. And I'm going to do selection only, because that's all I want, and we'll just call it a beard. That's all right. Export that beard. It exports really fast, because it's not a big thing. And then we create accessory, always, and beard. It takes a little bit of time to come in. And then we always have to adjust the pivot point. So we always want to go down here and edit pivot, and put the pivot point. I haven't found any way to have that done automatically. Uh, so that's just one of those things that happens. And then we want to move around to the side and click that pivot point and then adjust and drag that out in that direction. 
I think that's pretty good, actually. Yeah, it looks good to me. And then, of course, it never looks as good until you assign the materials. Now, last time I kind of showed you how you could drag in some materials. What I did uh, the time before, uh, just playing around, is I went to hair, to hair, and just for fun, I took this long hair and applied this long hair to this guy. And then, obviously, that looks kind of weird. But then I took this long hair, this, this long straight hair, and I went ahead and I saved it. I saved it as a material. So now I have that material out there. So with this hair selected, I'm going to go and I'm going to load in that material that's there, that blonde hair. And so that immediately gives me that, that loading of that material. It's just a little easier to do that. And so now we have a nice material. And it's already set as digital hair. And then we can go ahead. I think I showed you this last time. But you can adjust the color if you want. Um, you can really do anything you want to this. I always kind of like to make it a little darker because, uh, well, we're going to leave it blonde. I guess we're going to leave it blonde for those guys. Kind of weird, but... Now, this is... We have hair on the head. Uh, this guy's like a Viking or something, I guess. And we have a beard hair, but we want this to be hair. Right now, this is an accessory. So what we do first is we go to the hair. I've shown this in my other tutorials, but we go here to the hair that's on this already, and we convert it to an accessory, bake the current shape because we want to keep that shape where it is. And then we want to go in to the scene and select both of those because they're both accessories right now and we go ahead and we go to merge accessory so basically that merges those two together so we have hair as one big thing and so now we go to this thing and we go transfer skin weights and we go to hair and we apply that so there's there's some other caveats that have to be done when you do this but i don't i don't want to get too deeply in there so now it's all hair the reason we want to do that is because with this guy when we open his mouth we want this notice that hair deformed properly so now now when his mouth opens and closes the beard comes down properly into there so so there's that so that's basically how easy it is to collect it, to collect to <laughs> to create uh, but in this particular case, you can see the mustache isn't real even, and that, that's because it's hard to get the mustache even when you're doing the whole beard. I think if I were doing this, I would do it in separate pieces, so the beard and then the mustache and then the goatee, and put them all together just like we put it together with the hair, and otherwise you have uh, a big Viking. So hopefully that gives you some more ideas, and now you know where to get the hair plug in, and I'm going to keep doing hair tutorials until you tell me to stop. So, <laughs> or, But if there's anything in specific that you want to see about hair tutorials, let me know. We're going to get to that. And I think this is, anybody that ever wants to do hair, I mean, you can look. This this took like seconds to do that kind of hair. may not be the greatest thing in the world. I think I can do better. I can, I'm going to show you some things about how you can thin out some areas and stuff. But in terms of doing something quick, you know, that's pretty good. Uh, so anyway, hopefully we'll see you on the forums. Take care.